So the Nintendo Switch is about to enter its seventh year on the market. And it wasn't that long ago. It may feel like it was an eternity ago, but it wasn't that long ago where people doubted Nintendo. People all jumped on this bandwagon because of all the YouTubers and Twitter people and Reddit people saying how because the Wii U failed, the Nintendo Switch was gonna fail. It was going to fail because it wasn't powerful. It was going to fail because it was just a tablet. It was going to fail because it was not a traditional console. And I being the petty king, remember this, and I am here to remind all of you that they were wrong. So I'm currently sitting at 161 subscribers. If you like the content, if you like the videos, go ahead and give a like, go ahead and subscribe. I'd like to hit like 200 by some time, so that'd be pretty cool. So go ahead and do that for me. Let's get into the video. So here we are on the infamous NeoGAF, you know, that website known for its objectively correct opinions. And we are going to go back in time today. We're going to go back and have a blast of the past. And we're going to go to 2017, two months before the Nintendo Switch released. And we are going to hear and see what people thought about the Switch before it came out. The thread is named betting time. Do you think the switch will be a success? So what we are going to do is we're going to read about the first page or so of comments and we're going to see how incredibly wrong these people got it. And we're going to talk about it a little bit, talk about what happened, why it happened and why these people were wrong. Let's jump right into it. So the first comment we got is by a band user and it says not a chance in hell. So this guy does not believe at all that the Nintendo switch is going to do good at all. If they cut the price by holiday and release Pokemon Stars, whatever that is, soon, a, dis a decent success like 3DS, not 60 million units, but max 30 to 40 million units. Now he's talking about cutting the price of a brand new system a couple months after it comes out. That's hilarious to me because six years later, almost seven years later, we still haven't got a price cut on the Nintendo Switch. And then you keep scrolling down, we have DOA, we have no, it won't succeed, has nothing to succeed. At that price, no way. I don't see that happening with that price, that paywall and that game lineup. That game lineup, what? The 2017 game lineup was incredible. We got The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, one of the most critically acclaimed games of all time. Mario Kart Deluxe, Nintendo's top selling game of all time. Mario Odyssey and much more arms. I mean, we got a ton of games and he's sitting here talking about the game lineup is not good. Now we have one person that says Gaff trashed the Wii launch and the Wii reveal went nuts for the Wii U. Going by Gaff, it should be massive. It looks like we got a damn Nostradamus here. He was on point, he was right. And I mean, you gotta respect it. Somebody had their thinking cap on that day. Now continuing on, and then we have uh, better than the Wii U, but that's not saying much. It can be seen more as a handheld. 3DS is the most selling gaming device. So yes, so we did have a couple of people in this thread with a kind of a head that thought clearly. They were thinking clearly. They weren't just listening to every single content creator out there who were making hit pieces on the Nintendo Switch because the Nintendo Switch wasn't what they wanted it to be. It wasn't what they thought it would be best at. Scrolling down, we have, if the price doesn't drop quickly, F no. No reason for casuals to go and get th this and the hardcore crowd can stick out with a Wii U. Ridiculous. After that presentation, I'm, I really am not seeing it due to, see, these people are, th these people are, these people were, I should say, these people were delusional. The Switch had a great presentation. We all remember the presentation. All they did was talk about the great games that were coming to the system. They showed Mario Odyssey. They showed Xenoblade Chronicles 2. They showed a ton of arms, Splatoon. They, I mean, they showed a ton of great games. These people were completely delusional. And this is the direct result of people not thinking objectively about gaming. And this is one of the reasons why gamers look like idiots a lot of the time. But it was not just these people's fault. Listen, we're gonna read a few more and then we're gonna jump into the YouTube and how bad, how terrible YouTube was at the time. And I'm gonna try to bring up as many of those videos as I can, but remember, a lot of the YouTubers back then either removed their videos or privated them, molested them, so that they wouldn't have that scar on their record of being completely and totally wrong. And you know, this wouldn't be such a big deal, right? If they didn't come at this as if they were using objective empirical evidence 
they would come at these topics as if it was obvious that the switch was gonna fail that was the biggest issue i had during this period so we're gonna read a couple more i'm not gonna have too much more commentary on them i want to get past this part pretty quickly but we're gonna jump into the youtube videos after this so continuing we have no hope the future can prove me wrong nope not at all i don't think it'll come close to outselling the wii u actually wow wow we have i hope it does but i think this might finally be the end for nintendo no killer app or proof of concept mind you these people are saying no killer app when the legend of zelda breath of the wild was already announced by this time a long time before this time and somebody's gonna need to explain to me what proof of concept even means you see this is what i'm talking about these people will throw out buzzwords without any critical thinking and just because it sounds good you know what i mean what does that even mean the switch itself is its own proof of concept it's a switch it's what are you proving anyway let's continue before i have a heart attack and we're gonna jump down no new monster hunter it's dead i mean you guys you guys get the picture right all of these people on this front page were totally and completely wrong however you can see the confidence they have, how they knew they were right, how there was no way, there was no way. You guys remember 2017 just like I remember 2017. There was no way the Switch was supposed to be a success. And not only is it currently a success, it's on track to be the best selling console of all time. Now, let's jump into how YouTube was back in 2017. Let's see what these big content creators that you guys follow were thinking back then. And let's see if there was a bit of a disparity between then and now. So we're now at YouTube and I typed in the Nintendo Switch will fail in the search bar. And the first thing that pops up is a 34 video compilation. We're not gonna click into that, but you get the picture. Here we have Black Bond, 55,000 views. The Nintendo Switch will be another failure by Nintendo. We have beat em ups, the Nintendo Switch is doomed to fail. Now I haven't watched that video, it may be satire, he may be making a joke here, but regardless, it paints a picture. All right, scrolling down we have Kevy the Kevlar, why the Nintendo Switch will fail. Why do so many gamers want the Switch to fail? 2017 was a wild time. So I said I wasn't going to click into the playlist, but I went ahead and did that because look, it really demonstrates what I was talking about. Look at all of these videos. The Nintendo Switch presentation fail. Five reasons the Switch might fail by Boogie2988. The Nintendo Switch will fail why the nintendo switch will fail it's the same thing over and over and over making all of the terrible points every single one of the points in these videos are just regurgitated from somebody they heard on youtube or on twitter none of them are good points none of them are objective it doesn't feel like anybody did any kind of research or analysis of the market at all and what always gets me about these videos it would always interest me is that these are people going up against a multi-billion dollar company who does things like market analysis, who understands how their system's going to be pushed and how to sell a system. Yes, companies don't always get it right, but multi-billion dollars companies usually get it more right than they get wrong. And I just find it incredible, the confidence and bravado of all of these people saying that the Switch was absolutely going to be a failure. And here's one by an even bigger YouTuber, Review Tech USA. Nintendo has learned nothing from the Wii U's failure. Nintendo still does not understand what's wrong with the Nintendo Switch Online. There was so many hit pieces about the Switch back in 2017 by some of your favorite YouTubers, NeoGaf, Twitter, 4chan, Reddit. Everybody had a hate boner for the Nintendo Switch. And what really propagated this was the YouTubers all coming together like they had a secret meeting saying the Nintendo Switch was absolutely going to fail because it was outdated 2015 tech, which they still say to this day, and gamers have proven they do not care about that. They care about quality experiences. But what you'll see in a lot of these videos and what you'll see in the NeoGAF thread that I just posted on here was that people would say the most ridiculous things. They would talk about it not having killer apps. They would talk about it not being powerful. They would talk about it being too expensive. They would they would just bring up how the Wii U failed and then how that Nintendo was at this point dead. And I don't know where all of this hate and vitriol came from, 
But looking back in hindsight, I'm glad that these have been archived. I'm glad that we have historical evidence and I'm glad that we are able to go back and look at these and see what the mindset of people was back in 2017. But most importantly, it's good to have this historical evidence so that when a YouTuber makes an outrageous claim, we can go back in time and say, hey, you said this and you were wrong. We need to start holding people accountable for what they say and stop sweeping stuff under the rug. If you hear big claims, you need to have big evidence, you need to have facts, and you need to have some sort of empirical proof to go by what you're saying. Just because something doesn't do well one time doesn't mean the next thing that comes out is going to do bad. And as the petty king, it is my responsibility to call out these people for the ridiculousness. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the point of this video. They were wrong, Nintendo was right, and you should probably subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next one.